Hi guys, it's uh, it's been a while since uh, I've done a video, <coughs> which I'm aware of. I think everybody's been on holiday. I've I've just come back from holiday. Uh, over the Christmas, I spent a bit of time making um, a mock-up of the colony building uh, layer of the game. Uh, you can see here we've got uh, a little bit civilization style. We've got the available buildings. We've got the uh, a queue of like what's currently being built. Then we've got uh, some population statistics, we've got the total population, who's employed, how many jobless they've got, the population growth. Then we've got some basic colony resources, these will be, get expanded out into more complicated things later on. But we've got food, water, supplies and power. Uh, for this little demo, supplies are going to be like the, sort of the, um, the stand-in for like all the different uh, items that you need to build buildings. They're just, uh, uh, it will just be like, you know, this building costs so many supplies and so many gold. Um, Power doesn't do anything at the moment, eventually that's going to be, um, there'll be uh, power structures that have a radius to which they can pr provide power to buildings. Um, but yeah, if, uh, if I start the game up, hopefully this will work, I've not tested it for a moment. Oops. Um, I just noticed that my computer mouse is starting to go a bit weird as it keeps double clicking. So as you can see, we've got uh, a colony hub, which is the, the central building for any colony, and this is a, a launch tower, so this is where resupply ships come in. Uh, I did play around with that animation, but it didn't quite work properly. And what will happen is, as the population goes up, as soon as it reaches population cap, you get these types of buildings called sprawl. And sprawl is like a mechanic in the game where basically it's um, almost like a refugee camp, so basically as people come to the colony, uh, they're like refugees from Earth, and so gradually the sprawl will expand out from certain structures like the colony hub uh, and, and other sort of civilian structures where people would want to live. Um, at the moment, uh, I haven't quite got this working yet, so it originally it would expand out all over the place, now it should span, expand out from here and as soon as it reaches population cap another one gets built. Uh, I've not quite got that working yet. The whole thing works on a grid system, um, and at the moment it's just a, a flat plane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably fast forward for a bit, do a bit more work trying to get the build queue stuff working so you can place buildings, and uh, and when we come back we'll hopefully have a bit more of a like a civilization style build manager here. Um, if I pop over to Visual Studio for a second, you can kind of see a few of the little things uh, that I've changed. Uh, I've started working on a, an MVC model with all of the UI, so there'll be controllers, views, and models for each UI element. In this case, we're going to have a, a controller for the different buttons on the uh, 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 for the different buttons on the menu. Uh, a model will be like the sort of the uh, like the logic behind, like you know, do you have enough gold? Do you have enough resources? That sort of stuff. And the views will be what is putting information out onto those buttons. So yeah, we're going to start filling those out and uh, when we come back we'll uh, hopefully have like a bit more of a building thing so you can click on the buildings and uh, see how much, um, like what the cost is and everything. Uh, one thing to note if you pop back to Unity is there's this little info button here. Uh, when you click on those that will pop out a modal panel over the whole screen with information about the building like all the costs, how much it costs per uh, game month to, to run, all that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, so that's that's basically where I'm at at the moment. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's go fast forward, I'll find some music to go in the background and uh, enjoy watching, thank you very much.
Okay, we're back. Um, it's just a quick update on what I've been doing. So I've got the available buildings uh, button sorted out. If I just pop the console over here, if you click on a button, it triggers this uh, build button event. And if you click on info panel, uh, the info button over, it calls the info event. This now has its own model and uh, uh, controller and view which basically just drops out the list of all available buildings. Oh, excuse me, big hiccups. Um, I've also added, if you look on up here, we've got the coordinates that the mouse is currently in the world. And uh, those are basically the, the screen position, the world position, which is uh, basically whereabouts the mouse is contacting the ground plane and then the map position which is just uh, an integer uh, version of those so that basically is like the grid position that the mouse is currently over <coughs> uh, the build queue doesn't do anything at the moment actually clicking build buttons doesn't do anything anymore at the moment so what I'm going to do next is link up each of these things with like a, a building prefab and uh, the idea is when you click the build it will get uh, it will show the building as like a green outline you move it around uh, and then when you click down it will place the building and add it to the build queue <coughs> uh, and then that will get built over however long it takes to build the building okay so I'm gonna do that next we're gonna go fast forward again and I'll see you in the next update okay. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this video here, put it around about 10 minutes. Um, I've just been editing the video just now. Uh, here's where we were at uh, after that last little fast forward. The building this now populates itself. Uh, when you click on one of these buttons it then creates uh, a template object and you can move it anywhere on the grid. Uh, and when you click it doesn't do anything right now because the, that state machine for that controller is not really working it, all it does is it wait, moves around uh, when you click on another button again it's, uh, the state machine hasn't really been finished yet so you've now got a solar panel stuck in the middle of a commercial district building the commercial district will be another civilian building from which sprawl will expand so you'll start getting that sort of, uh, that sort of thing where uh, if you then want to place another building inside Sprawl, it will then like relocate, and that will cause various uh, various like debuffs to the colony for a little while. So that's something you always have to manage. Uh, factory again, uh, basically stacking up all of the models there. I'm just using like cube prefabs at the moment just to just to get everything going. So yeah, uh, I'm quite happy with how that's working, and you can basically place these anywhere on this grid. And. Ooh. If you go like that, it goes back to zero. That's interesting. I'll have to, if that ray, if that ray cast fails, I'll have to turn that off. Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, in the next video, which I'm going to start recording straight away, basically, <coughs> we're going to start getting this state machine working for the uh, for the, the the building placement. So it'll have like a, a place building, it'll have a cancel placement, all that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, and that will be uh, basically an event driven spa uh, state machine. So. What I'll probably do is bit, that will be a little bit more. You know, I'll probably do uh, two videos for that. Maybe one that's just a quick music video like this one, and uh, another one which is a little bit more in depth about making like a state 
uh, state machine that has events triggers for uh, for switching state. Um, I think that's the best way of doing this. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, we'll see how it works out. If it works out great, then there's another there's another video for you. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Share the video. Share the Facebook group if you want to invite any. If you think anyone you know would be interested in this game, uh, send them a link to the Facebook group. Uh, feel free to drop me a friend request on Facebook. It's probably the best place of contact for me. Uh, I'm usually on Facebook all the time, so that's the best place to ask any questions. Awesome. Thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Rock on, guys. Bye.